would like to ask your both permission to use this video for educational purpose and on internet. Right. Now, yes. you made a little bit of a medical history. You were the first patient I did OLEF in Minnesota. And as a matter of fact, uh, in the whole this region, uh, you were the first patient who received the OLEF procedure. Meanwhile, I have done over 1,500. Last week, uh, the, the doctors from United Kingdom, Ecuador, came and learned this procedure from us. Mm -hmm. And every month, people come from the United States and other countries. And we have achieved a truly a very unique procedure that um, uh, re has reduced the risk of the surgery tremendously. Mm -hmm. And um, I hate to say that, but the olive you received 10 years ago is not the same olive we do now because okay. we have... Like we are, we have a whole engineering department. We have improved on that tremendously. So you got the OLIF version 1.0. Uh, oh. Now we're version 2. Now we are version 7. Oh, really? We have come wow. a long yeah. way. Wow. Yeah. In 10 years. Wow. In 10 years. 10 years is a long time. Yes. But do you remember that surgery? Oh, yeah. she does. She does? And I remember that smile on your face when you came out of the emergency room looking for me in a waiting room. And you were just, and you were just, Everything went great, you said to me. Yeah. Your wife is, went was, through great, and I'm just so happy. I was ecstatic about that. Do you know why? Because I was used to do that surgery in four or five hours, and I could do that and with certain amount of blood loss. I did your surgery in less than half of the usual time. Yeah, I remember and, it was a very yeah, long. It was a very yeah. long. And I literally, we had one-tenth of the blood loss of the open surgery, wow. and... This is one of those moments in the history that you see something very special and you recognize it. That was my, ex my, my happiness was about recognizing that, you know, we did something special that day. Right. Right. And that pro started the process. Now people, like last Friday, people uh, flew from other states to get this procedure when they couldn't get a regular surgery in their place. Yeah. And people come even from other countries now to get this procedure for us. Surgeons wow. come from wow. entire United States wow. and other countries to learn this from us. So, well, thank you for helping oh, me to... No problem. I hope this one goes just as good. Yeah, but now we are going to talk about your situation. This is what we did um, 10 years ago. We did a, what we call interbody and posterolateral fusion with transcambine olive. And where we did the surgery, bone is beautifully growing. At that time, I used the, what we call a plastic cage or spacer. That's why you don't see that spacer itself. But then we put screws in and everything went well. And bone is beautifully growing in both places. But about a year ago or maybe six months ago, something like that, you and I, we talked about that there are some other problems yeah. with your spine. No. My SI joint, with, right? Yeah, well, with all the uh, all the things that uh, I could do, I could not stop the time and I could not make you younger. Right. And this is what we did. Last time we fixed these two, they are good. Mm -hmm. And then you have symptoms that could be both, could be sacroiliac joint or lumbar spine. And if you look here, you have problem in both. Okay. Here, that's L5S1, yeah. and these are sacroiliac joint. And now most of the time, both are the problem, but uh, the way we figure out which one is giving you most of the problem is with injection. Right. So how many injections did we do? Three. Three. And tell me about the result of that injection. The first two didn't do real good, but the last one, which was two weeks ago, did great for the first yeah. three days. Yeah. And that is sometimes, you know, what we say, you have two problems, but the injection showed us that even though you have as well both sacroiliac joint and L5S1, uh, nevertheless, the sacroiliac joint is not really your major problem because if sacroiliac joint was your major problem, each injection would make it day and night. Yeah. Okay. So you have what we call adjacent segment disease, meaning that we, the level we did the surgery are good, and now the other level is the one that we have to do surgery. Yeah. Now, 10 years ago, I could not have done that surgery minimal invasively. But now I can. Oh, now you can. Okay. So because the, we are not doing OLIF uh, the, the 1.0, we are doing OLIF 7.5. Wow. Many, many, you know, the, uh, iteration, many, 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 much more experience. So we have come a long way. So Super. practically, it is good that we bought you 10 years time.
because now we can do the second surgery as well, minimally yeah, invasively. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah, right, yeah. right, okay. Yeah. Well, do you, so tell me about the, your, how did you do? I mean, how long did you stay in the hospital? At that time, I used to keep um, the patient a long time in the hospital. I had surgery on Tuesday and I went home on Friday. So Tuesday to Friday, three days. Yeah. Now most of the patient after that surgery go home next days. Okay. So oh, wow. because we, we, we are even better at managing, right. we understand how to manage the pain, how to ambulate the patient. Yeah. Now, um, how long after that surgery did you return to usual usual life activities? Oh, right. I don't remember. Oh, it, was only it wasn't that long. Maybe a month, a month, month six weeks, maybe. Yeah, six, yeah. Max, and, six weeks, max. Yeah, and that is... That is it was unbelievable then and yeah. still unbelievable. Most of patients after a two-level fusion, it takes them somewhere between three and six months to return to okay. usual activities. So um, even then, uh, that was part of the big smile I had that yeah. because I knew something is going to be different. Okay. Yeah. Now we've we've bragged you up quite a bit over the thank years. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. That yeah. we we uh, requested you. We we thank you. We suggested you. Because of the outcome, yeah. Yeah. first We've time. We've been 100% satisfied. Well, you know, that this is 10 years later. We are going to fix a different problem. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will fix it. And um, now uh, I really want to, uh, Lloyd, uh, I really want people know your story okay. because you helped me to make medical history by trusting being my first patient right. to do this kind of surgery. Oh. Okay, well, thank you. Wow. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. 